so far we have worked with um, different transformations between the um, analog space S and into the digital domain Z. And so we, we have done this with two transformations so far. This was the so-called impulse invariance. And the other one was the matched Z transform. So the so the main problem with these transforms is is the following. So if we look at at the analog response here, so this is our analog domain. So if we have an analog response here, so we have a H of J and then capital Omega for analog frequencies. And we've got here the Omega. And so for example, we have a low pass response. So that's a low pass. Then the frequency X is here. This, this goes to infinity. Yeah, so we have no limitations. So we're starting, starting from zero, and this goes to infinity here. The problem now is that our digital filter won't do that. So our digital filter stops at some point here. So that's the. This is here for our digital filter the Nyquist frequency. So we know that above the Nyquist frequency, the spectrum just repeats. So this means that for beyond the Nyquist frequency, this would go up. Yeah. So the so the response. This is the the response here of our analog filter. And this one here. This is the response of the digital filter. So this means the bottom line is that we're getting a very poor filter response. So if we're limiting if we define this frequency here in our digital filter, filter pi, then essentially this is only the usable region of our digital filter here. <laughs>